Hi, welcome to Medical Monks, where your care is our highest calling. My name is Nikki, and today we're gonna to go through a couple of products from our friends at Hartman. Uh, this family of products combines collagen and some silver, some antimicrobial things, um, and it's called Colactive. So first, I wanna tell you a little bit about how this will work, uh, just from a practical level when you actually place it on a wound. So um, they come in many different sizes, a two by two, a four by four, and a seven by seven. And as I mentioned, you will have the option for um, the regular or the AG, the silver in there for the antimicrobial properties. And if you have any sensitivities to silver, then you always have the regular Colactive available for you. So on a practical level, I'll explain a little bit about how you would use this product, how you would apply it to a wound. And I happen to have a decent example of such a wound here. Um, our poor guy's got a diabetic foot ulcer um, and also some pressure wounds, um, all kinds of ailments here going on. So our dressing comes in this package. This is our two by two, and that's what that looks like. It's just all by itself, a small, thin little sheet. <laughs> Like, I'll just cut it right before you ripped it. Cut it before I ripped it, yeah. Okay. So, you would probably in all likelihood want to cut that to fit um, the size of your wound. This one's a little bit smaller and we don't need that much. This is very delicate and it will tear. Um, you could actually bust that up into a smaller for that particular one. This is a particularly awful, painful looking wound and is gonna require the entire sheet. So you'll cover that with a secondary dressing with a gauze or um, a pad that has a border around it with some stick on there for the exudate. Now what this will do is absorb the exudate that is inside that particular wound and that activates the collagen and then it becomes kind of a gel. Um, so it's performing two particular functions, actually with three or four. It's going to absorb the exudate it's also continuing to provide a moist wound environment. Uh, and it actually provides the building structure, the building blocks for the new skin that is going to be created here in this three-step process of healing. So those two that I wanna talk about are the granulation and uh, the epithelialization. Those are two really big words for how to make new cells and tissue out of almost nothing. And that's what we're doing with the collagen is we're providing what I like to think of when I've learned about this as scaffolding. I heard a nurse actually refer to it as lattice work and it provides something for those new cells to grab onto. Inside every wound bed is a family of enzymes that we actually refer to, well, not we, clinicians who know a whole heck of a lot more than I do, refer to as matrix metalloproteinases. This particular enzyme, it actually does help trigger some of the healing uh, mechanisms that are required for new skin and new tissue growth and all of that. But just as is true in all things in life, too much of a good thing is too much. And that actually will be um, something that triggers and will give the characteristics for a chronic non-healing wound if this thing called uh, MMP for short is left unchecked. So how does the collagen in Colactive actually work to mitigate that? Well, two two things it does on one hand what the collagen does actually the the pad itself has uh zinc part of the word of the the root in M mmp is the metallo and it's metal this particular stuff actually requires metal to proliferate zinc is primary um it's its food source so this actually mitigates the zinc giving this stuff, MMP, nothing to actually grow on. The second thing it does is uh, something I read referred to as martyrdom. It actually, collagen, offers itself up as a food source for this MMP, and it leaves all of the other new tissue alone to grow undisturbed. So this is where collagen comes in. It's a, it's a two-pronged kind of attack for the wound bed to actually grow, or excuse me, to heal. So if you've got a non-healing wound or something that is taking just a lot longer than you would ordinarily see with just you know some gauze and just changing a bandage, this is where you wanna go. Uh, the kinds of wounds that this would address would be uh, diabetic ulcers. We talked about our, our, our poor Mr. Man here <laughs> with his pressure wounds, graft sites, um, second and first degree full thickness burns for sure. Uh, basically really deep wounds. The second item in this family is just the straight up powder, um, which comes in a small packet all by itself. It doesn't, it's not much to look at in here, but um, it's, it's a granular kind of powder and will go straight into the wound bed itself. You would just 
dump it in there um, after you did some debriding in there. And the reason for that is despite the fact that this pad can hold 20 times its own weight and exudate, you may have a deeper wound or a really odd shaped wound. Um, these are all pretty, pretty round. Well, yeah, these are all pretty even. <laughs> but if you've got a wound that is of an irregular shape, that will help actually fill all of those odd nooks and crannies and get all down into the, the wound bed itself. And then likewise, it adds more absorption power for the wound and you would cover it again with either another one of the Colactive Plus pads and then a secondary dressing to get that extra protection and that healing. The only thing I would wanna mention is if you have any allergies to uh, animal proteins, this is actually something derived from fish collagen, which is interesting, um, then it's not recommended for you. So you wanna check with a doctor before you go out and, and get such a, an item for yourself or a loved one. I hope this was helpful content for you. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe where we will continue to post more helpful information on products that are gonna aid you and your loved one on your continued road to healing. Be well.